Good morning, everyone. Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> Who is out there in Facebook land or YouTube land? Good morning. It's What's New Wednesday at Kimber Bell. I'm Kim Christofferson. So excited to share with you all things new. And there's there's quite a bit to talk about today. So who do I have joining me today? It looks like Donna from Windy, Rainy and Windy, Connecticut. Oh, ooh. too cold for that, right? Uh, Yvette, let's see, from um, Illinois. Yes. And cloudy and windy, Illinois, Yvette says yes. Um, Anne from New Mexico, April from Alaska. Hi, Eva. Hi, Janice. Hello, Marianne from Oregon and C Lombard from Chile, Arizona. Oh, that's not good. Arizona is supposed to be like the perfect weather this time of year, right? Um, Michelle from Denver. Hi, Diana and Amy from Fort Lauderdale. Good morning, Deborah from North Carolina. Deborah from Florida, Sherry from California, Rochelle from Virginia, Gayla from Grover Beach, California. Hello, Mindy from Havasu City, Arizona. Rita from Tennessee. Hello, my friend, Rita. Hi, Judy from South Dakota. And as I like to say, the list goes on. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Well, I wasn't here last week. I hope it was a good Thanksgiving for you. It was really nice. It was kind of a small gathering with my family, my sister's family and my mom. And it was just perfect. It was just right. Played games, had lots of food, way too much, right? And um, it was just a good, good relaxing time. I hope it was for you in your neck of the woods as well. Um, but I missed you. I missed doing this um, last week because it is fun to connect with you each week and um, share in the excitement of Kimberbell. Um, I have been going a little crazy busy. You can see my sewing room's a mess. It is a mess. If you could, if I took the camera, like did a 360, you'd be like, whoa, Kim, you've got a lot going on. And that's because, you know, Operation Christmas is in full swing and I've got lots of projects going on all about half done. Nothing quite completed to the finish line yet. Trying to work on three quilts and actually three quilts for my kids for Christmas. And then I'm trying to make a finish up cup of cheer too, so that I could actually hang it in my own house this year. I saw someone on Bella's, she gave a really good idea. Um, I wish I could remember your name right now, but she said, I think that we should do like a countdown to Christmas with, with the new um, advent quilt. But like every day, like day one, you actually make block one <laughs> and day two, you make block two. I thought that was brilliant. <laughs> Way to go. I love it. Yeah, Kim, <laughs> my friend, Kim, she says a messy sewing room shows a genius at work. At least that's what I tell my husband. Yeah, that, I, I like that story. I'll stick to that one, Kim. <laughs> All right. Well, good morning, everyone. So what do we have new at Kimberbell? Well, let's go ahead and start with a little bit of sew and tell with Kimberbell, shall we? <laughs> All right. I have just a minute to grab a few pictures and boy, are they amazing. Let's take a look here. Natasha, she says, made the more traditional colored one for my mother-in-law and the aqua and pink for myself. Think I'm in love with this pillow. I'm so glad I decided to make one for myself. Well, I am sure uh, happy for you that you made it for yourself. And I'm sure your mother-in-law is going to be so happy as well. But what really got me this one, this is Merry Christmas, y'all, by the way, if you can't tell. And that is on the Kimberbell um, digital download site. So you can uh, download that right away. But look at this. What? Look at that aqua and pink. It just changes the whole thing in such a beautiful way. Great, great job. I thought that pink leather hat was perfect. I love his beard. I love the cowboy boot stockings. I love it all. Those colors just like, just wowed me. I That was, that was really cool. That was really cool. Thank you for sharing your rendition of that one. 
Let's see. This one comes from Karen. She says, it's a Kimberbell mashup pillow and I'm loving it. Yeah, I am too. It's so fun because I'm seeing things from, um, oh my gosh, such a variety of Kimberbell projects. I'm seeing like that row of houses and the little dog on the presents and the believe with the stockings. That all came from curated Christmas, didn't it? Correct me if I'm wrong there. Um, even the little mug rug design up in the top corner with the um, with the letter to Santa, that was also in curated Christmas. The big Christmas tree there in the other corner came from Candy Cane Lane. Some of you are probably out there shouting, shouting it out. Candy Cane Lane, Kim. It's Candy Cane Lane. I got it, right? Um, yeah. Also, the little mini tree. See, you're, you're putting me on the spot here, Karen, but I think the mini little tree down there at the bottom came from Candy Cane Lane as well. I think it was sitting right next to the uh, hot cocoa stand. The truck came from, I can't remember where the truck came. It came from, oh my gosh, someone else. Someone help me there. We've got we've got a few Kimberbell trucks out there, but I know that one came from a particular one. Anyway, so fun. Love it all. What a great mashup, Karen. And then, um, you know, turned it into an 18-inch pillow. I love that. Let's see who else is doing stuff. Jocelyn, 48. 48, my friends, snowflakes. These are from the North Pole event, she said. In the event, there are fairy lights that go in this center of each one she liked them so much that she made a bunch put some hot fix hot fix crystals in the middle and then <coughs> a ribbon to use as christmas ornaments she's making these as gifts jocelyn jocelyn what a great idea i absolutely love that how fun to decorate uh, your Christmas tree um, to give as ornaments, um, to add to like the bow of a present. It's like the, the gift that keeps giving, right? And to put those little hot fix crystals right smack in the center. What a great idea. And like I said, folks, 48 of those babies were made. That was, of course, like she said, from the North Pole Tear Tray event, which I know a lot of you have taken if you haven't yet. It's not too late. There's still shops doing that one. Really fun. Okay, let's take a look at someone's take on, well, I'll just show you. Cuties. Let's see. Here we go. All right. Is it Holly? She said, Polly, Polly. She says, stayed up late uh, putting the finishing touches on my January cutie. Then I couldn't resist starting my napkins. One done, more to go, but I love it. Thank you, Kimberbell. Thank you, Polly. That is such a fun idea. Look at that Kimberbell cutie right smack in the center of her table. It's the January design. Boy, you are ahead of the game, my friend. And then she decided to make coordinating napkins with the snowman on each corner. Is anyone else inspired out there? I totally am. Thank you so much for sharing that, Polly. Let's take a closer look here. Isn't that the cutest thing you ever did see? Oh my gosh, I absolutely love it. Ooh, it looks like you maybe added a little star trim around the edges too. I love that. Woof. Love it. Okay. Thank you for sharing. And here's one more for today. Lena, here's her Kimberbell cutie. She says, this is her version of cuties two for January. Since snowmen aren't the same, it was fun playing with the colors. I made for them three for my children and one for me. Four, four, four. Oh my gosh. Lana, you go girl. And I love it. And I, I love that. You know, that's what embroiderers do right we love making multiples and making them as gifts you cranked out for Lana. your kids are gonna love it you're gonna love it you're gonna smile every time you sit at that table looking at it way to go that's awesome okay of course those came from whoop, kimberbell cuties right there the machine embroidery version there's only one version it's machine embroidery. You get to create, this is volume two. You're creating January, February, March, April, May, and June. And um, it turns out to be about $10 a pattern. So um, pretty darn good deal. And as you know, we're all about the step-by-steps. So everything is gonna be laid out for you. If you want to do optional background quilting, 
on each of those. Well, we got you covered for that too. That is a separate purchase because it's always optional. Some people like to do it on the machine while others might like to have it long armed. Either way is great. Um, but you can check that out at camberbell.com. Find this though at your favorite quilt shop. Just awesome. They, they're carrying these. They, they love them like we do. Many of them are teaching classes on it. Lots of fun stuff to be had. Speaking of some fun ideas for gifting for Christmas, if you're thinking, gosh, I would really like to make, well, hmm, what if instead of making the project, you actually gift the experience, right? You gift the experience of making a project. That, that sounds kind of nice as I'm in the middle of my three quilts here. Maybe I should have just given them a kit. <laughs> but you tell them, I I think that you would love to make Kimberbell cuties. And so you could print off a little giftable tag that says Merry Christmas. It's a Merry Kimberbell Christmas um, and give this to them. Or you could like hint to Santa that you would really like to have Kimberbell cuties under your tree. And there's a printable gift tag for that too. If you have not seen it yet, you're wondering, what are you talking about, Kim? Let me show you. We have these fun new free printable gift tags that you can download today. Let's take a look. Here we go. All I want for Kimber, all I want for Christmas, all I want for Kimberbell, yeah. All I want for Christmas is Kimberbell. <laughs> That's awesome, right? Or dear Santa, please bring me Kimberbell. Oh my gosh. So how many of you can relate to that and thinking, yes, I need those gift tags so that I can give the hint to Santa or I can like wrap it up with a gift from Kimberbell, like a project. Or there's some other gift tags that shops have received for free that they will give to you for free um, to wrap around special gifts that you want to have under your tree this year. Let's take a look at what our team did. Um, anyone want Kimberbell scissors under the tree? What if you wrapped up a little tag, that printable gift tag that says, all I want for Christmas is Kimberbell. There you go. Wouldn't that be so cute? I think so. How about some stabilizer? Who couldn't use stabilizer like all the time, but especially for Christmas? So wrap it up with a little tag. From me to a very deserving me. <laughs> I believe that tag is the one that shops have ready to go and send your way. Um, here's another one. Uh, what about like putting clear blue tiles under the tree. Let's see. This one says, all I want for Christmas is Kimberbell. There you go. What if you gifted an event to someone? Ooh, a Kimberbell event. Maybe you gift it to yourself, <laughs> right? Maybe you gift it to a friend or daughter or mother or brother or uncle, whatever. Okay. But Maybe you say, I'm going to gift myself. <laughs> I'm going to treat myself because come on, we all, we all buy our own Christmas presents, right? Or at least maybe one or two of them. What if you gifted an event? Merry Christmas. I signed you up for, and then you fill in the blank. This one happened to say one sweet spring. Isn't that fun? That one too is, um, quilt shops have that tag for you. All right, so you can download, uh, there's some, you know, tags, especially for you. And then there's some special tags that are were given to get to cool shops to also give to you. So check it out. It's a free download at Kimberbell.com. All right. Okay, what is next? Gosh, there's so much to share with you this week. Ooh, let's talk about some new digital downloads, shall we? Okay, before I go into it, though. You know what I'm going to say? If you have a shop out there that has an affiliate link, we would love and welcome you to click on their link and then shop. Um, but look at what the background quilting was new. It This one was actually new last week, but because we weren't here, I'm going to show it to you this week. How many football fans do we have in the house? You guys, I watched the the Michigan Ohio game this last week. It was very well, depends on what team you're on, right? <laughs> but if you are a football fan, you're going to love this one. Isn't that cute? 
touchdown. We've got the helmet and the football and the jersey. And as I like to say, I just hope both teams have fun. <laughs> right? I don't get too crazy into it, but you know, when your family's like big fans and stuff and well, let's, I, okay. I get a little uh, certain teams, right? I, I think you're all out there too. That football design, I could see going on a whole lot of things. What if you made your family a quilt, like a lap quilt for Christmas because they're big football fans and you put your, you know, favorite football team fabrics in there and then you quilt it with something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be cute. I love it. All right. So that is brand new. Well, it was brand new last week. Now, another one that's brand new. Um, let me, let's go over to the website, shall we? I'll, uh, I'll show you over there. Let's see. I'm going to share my screen here. And it's something I know you guys have been waiting for. And it's finally available. All right. We are at the Kimberbell website. We go to products. And then we go to digital downloads. Okay. You're going to see a few new things. A couple I'm going to talk about today. One of them I'm going to save for next week. All right. So, oh, where did it go? Where did it go? Oh, my goodness. You guys, it left. It left us. Wait a minute. I'm sure it was there. Let me look. Oh, what's going on? Something spooky. Let's see. I don't believe it's under the vault. Huh. Okay. The, P the powers that be at Kimberbell, please check into this because there was a brand new one that just went up today and I saw it this morning. No, it's not there. Okay. It's coming. I promise you. And it's not this one, although I am going to talk about that a little bit and then we're going to talk about it next week. Okay. Let me show you some pictures because somehow... Poof, it's gone, <laughs> but you've been waiting for it. So it will go up today, I promise you. I saw it just this morning. I don't know how these things happen, but the good news is, is that we've got these alphabet letters. This is the leafy vine alphabet. <gasps> Isn't that pretty? Isn't that gorgeous? You get all of the full, you can do um, these letters they come in two different sizes and they come in with three different ways, three different looks you can do them in. Okay. So what do I mean by that? Well, let me show you another picture. This is an example of the A. We, we frame these, but do you see how the very top one is one that's done all in thread? The second one, the middle one is done as an applique and the third one is done as a collage applique. Pretty cool, right? So you can download each of these letters as individuals and just buy them per the letter. Maybe you're thinking, well, I just want to have a, a letter that's kind of like, you know, a monogram and you, my last name's Christofferson, so I would download a C. But maybe I want the entire alphabet because there's several that I'd want and you'd save a little, uh, some money that way too. You can download the entire thing as well. Okay, so that is the leafy vine alphabet. Let me show you again up close what that looks like. Because do you see the leafy vine? That just, whoo, that's beautiful, right? Again, two sizes, and you can do it in three different types of ways. Either just in thread, kind of like a red work look. You could do it in applique, or you can do it in collage applique, which is really fun. Okay, so that's available. Let me show you a few more pictures. I'm glad I have pictures here to show you, um, but certainly keep checking back the site and we'll make sure and uh, put them, we'll be sure to announce it on Facebook too, that they're available. But I love that that one I just showed you, this is joy, because think of like, you know, if you wanted to do Mary or joy or, you know, some kind of theme around the holidays or you could do like a child's bedroom, like an individual name, uh, individual letter in each block like that. That would be cute. But maybe, maybe you would also want to do it in the new wreath. 
download. Let's take a look at the Reese. This is something that you've also been waiting for. And we took one of the letters and we matched it up with the wreath and we put it on a Kimberbell blank and it's just beautiful, isn't it? So that is, um, there's Jen, hmm, not January, there is seasonal wreaths. So there's four different ones to choose from in a couple of sizes. Um, you've got, um, of course, winter, summer, spring, and fall. So let's take a, a closer look at some of those. Look how beautiful. So they really work in conjunction uh, with each other, the monogram and the wreath. Let's take a closer look at a few others. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I love it. This is, by the way, if you're wondering, what is that Kimberbell blank? I don't recognize that. It's coming soon. It's not quite available. Didn't arrive here on time, but it is coming soon and it is gorgeous. But we also have some other blanks pillow blanks, very similar to that, that would be gorgeous for something like this. Here is one that we did on a tea towel. Isn't that pretty? That one, it's, uh, I believe that's the probably the spring wreath is my guess there. Here we have it on totes, framed, even on a wine bottle bag. Did you know that Kimberbell has wine bottle bags that you can embroider on? Let's take a closer look at that. It's a, a gorgeous red velveteen. We also have a navy velveteen and the cord is already in them and you can stitch that beautiful little wreath and gift it. Isn't that awesome? Let's take another look. Here's another blank that that's on. Just beautiful in every way. Look at, oh, oh, I love that one. That is screaming my name right there, the fall. Love it. Here we put it on zipper pouch blanks, the velveteen zipper pouch blanks. So you can see it comes in a, a variety of sizes. Oh, here you can see all the seasons. There you go. And you can do it in a whole variety of ways. Beautiful, right? So whether you add the monogram in the middle, or yeah or not um it's just just a really pretty design <coughs> excuse me mm, here we go okay so kind of fun all right darlene says great great new collection of reese yeah really really beautiful aren't they lynn says oh the fall and winter is exquisite i agree lynn really beautiful okay um, and thank you for all the bless you's. <laughs> Let's see. Shirley says, all of these are so pretty. Yeah, they really are, aren't they? Karen says, beautiful on the velveteen bag. Yeah, I totally agree with that as well. So really fun stuff. Brand new. Like I said, I don't, anyone from Kimberbell on right now, they're probably going, oh, where did that go? I don't know. You never know how these things happen. But we'll get it. We'll get it on there for you. And pretty soon, I'm just checking real quick just in case it's like now all of a sudden there. Nope, it's not. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, we will let you know. So follow us on Facebook, <laughs> Instagram. We'll be sure to let you know. All right. Okay. Great, great, great. All right. What else do we have going on? Let's see. Um, let me look at my little checklist here because my favorite part's coming up. So but I just want to make sure. Oh, okay. We talked a little bit about, um, this is just a little heads up. We talked a little bit about um, the Kimberbell um, Advent Quilt, right? Cup of cheer. Um, I know so many of you have done it. You're in the process of doing it. Maybe you're starting tomorrow as part of your Advent <laughs> countdown, right? Um, whatever it may be, we also have been having fun with the Advent quilt um, at Kimberbell. And our awesome team here has put together a series of um, special, mm, what should I, how should I call it? It's like a, a series of things that we want you to tune in 
every morning starting tomorrow, December 1st, because it's like a countdown, right? To Christmas. And every day at 9 a.m. Mountain Time, you're going to see a new little video clip posted. It's like little. I, it'll take you like 30 seconds, if that, to watch. Really fun stuff. Okay, and what they've done is they've taken the advent quilt and they are also counting down with you, with all of us together, right? So day number one of the advent quilt, they're going to open up, you know, what day number one is and out comes something special from Kimberbell. So what you're going to, why you're going to want to tune in. And if you, you know, if you can't catch it live, it's okay. Cause you'll have like a full 24 hours to participate, but there's going to be some kind of nod to some kind of Kimberbell experience item that match kind of coordinates with the quilt. Does that make sense? It'll make sense starting tomorrow. Okay. So Anyway, it's to get you excited about, of course, counting down to Christmas like the rest of us and counting down the days. Um, you know, number one, number two, number three, there's always some kind of special surprise. And there's going to be um, a whole lot of giveaways, too, in conjunction with that. Yeah, Lynn says, sounds like fun. It is. It's going to be fun. It's just a little something, a little surprise come, um, you know, on Facebook or TikTok or YouTube or Instagram, I believe. And so um, just check it out. You're, you're going to find some fun giveaways and you're going to find some fun new products and you're going to find um, lots of inspiration and it's just going to be fun. So there we go. Okay. Someone from Kimberbell said this. And I would agree. Oh, where did it go? Here we go. Yay! <laughs> she says, we are so excited. Please join us for this fantastic countdown. We promise you won't be disappointed. Plenty of fun surprises and sneak peeks heading your way. Thank you. I think that's probably Jessica that said that. Thank you, Jessica. I agree. There's going to be some fun stuff. They've they've given me, even me, a little sneak peek of um, some of the days ahead, and it just made me smile. So 9 a.m. Mountain Time on all those channels, right? You can catch it. And then within uh, 24 hours, it's like you can... Well, you just do whatever, you know, it's asking you for the day. And then um, you've got some time before the next day to reply and to possibly win on some of those days as well. And they've got some pretty good prizes going on. And then there is a grand prize giveaway on the 25th of December. So anyway, kind of exciting. I'm thank you, Kimberbell team, for making that possible. I think we'll all have a little bit of fun with that. All right. Okay. So there's that. Um, and then the next thing I wanted to mention was some new felt colors and what I did with them. So here's where if you're thinking like, gosh, I really need just the perfect little um, neighbor gift or teacher gift or a gift to the postal worker or whoever, your hairdresser, you know how we owe it, co-worker, you know how we all have those people in our lives that we just need a little something for to say, hey, we're thinking of you, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, whatever. Um, I think I've got that, I, I think I've got the right idea for you. I, th I think you're going to like it. And it has to do with our new felt colors that just got launched in shops um, from Kimberbell. So if you've ever done any of our Kimberbell projects before that included felt, you're going to know that this felt is awesome. We call it embroidery felt. It's just like this. It, it's a really soft. It, it flows nice. It's not too stiff. It, you know, holds up to the, the piercing of the needle and they're also custom colored, uh, they're custom dyed colors. So three new ones have just hit shops in, this week, okay? So they are, ooh, I love the names of them too. This one is called Sun-Kissed Peach, okay? Sun-Kissed Peach. I mean, it could be peach, but why when it can be Sun-Kissed Peach? <laughs> This one is blue and it's called a sea glass. Ooh, I love that one. And this one is called graham cracker. 
go figure, right? Isn't it pretty? It's a pretty tan one, lightish brown tan. So this is, these are the three new colors that you're going to be looking for. And I was thinking, you know, um, I really want to showcase how I used these three new colors to create some gifts that were, you know, pretty quick to make. Uh, you know, if we've got the coworkers, we've got the friends, we've got, you know, whoever in our lives that we think we, we want a little something, this just might be the ticket. And it might be something that you already have in your stash too, which is always fun too. And if you don't, <laughs> you know, you know, quilt shops out there would love to say, hey, we've got that product. We, we would love to share that with you. We'd love to, you know, um, offer that to you. So this is the product I'm going to be using, but I'm going to show you how I changed it up a bit. This is what you're going to be looking for, or if you may already have it in your stash. This is the Kimberbell Heartfelt Gift Pockets. And this is the CD here, Quilting Friends, Keep You in Stitches. But there's actually, that's not the only one that's on there. There are 12, 12 different designs for anything from birthdays to babies to, to you name it. That occasion is probably on heartfelt gift pockets. And maybe many of you have made these before because they're perfect for inserting a little something into the pocket of it. Okay. So I took three of those designs. You still need the CD. You still need the design to do this. But I switched it up with a little help of software. So if you have software, um, the beauty of an embroidery machine, I should say you could do it with software or some machines, it'll allow you to do this on your machine itself too. So either way, you can make it work. But the beauty of embroidery is that you can take words, right, and change them up a little bit. So if you don't like the saying that is on there, or you want to kind of embellish it a little bit differently, or if you want to add a personalized name or message to something, that's why we love embroidery, right, is because we can change that out. We can swap out one set of words and put in a new set of words. Um, so I want to show you what I did. Again, this is the CD you're looking for, heartfelt gift pockets. But here's how I changed it up for Christmas. So this is the first one. Um, this is the original design, okay? This is Quilting Friends Keep You in Stitches. The original design said that let me show you what I did instead. Well, I'll show you the picture and then I'll show you it in person. Let's see. So quilting friends keep you in stitches. How many of you got quilting friends? I think a lot of us do. And I wanted something special for them. So instead of keeping the words quilting friends keep you in stitches, I kept everything else the same, the cute little spool and the heart and the thread, but I changed the words to say Merry Quiltmas. Merry Quiltmas. And instead of attaching, you know, a little tube with buttons in it, as you can see there, I attached a spool of thread. And then in the pocket, you see that I actually put a fat quarter in there, a little mini ruler, some Kimberbell buttons, and a pin. What do you think? Merry Quiltmas. Here we go. There it is in person. So, Again, here is, all of these have like a, a step where you can add like a, a ribbon or a string. And so I did that with this. And then I actually put the spool of thread in there and wrapped it around as you saw in the picture. But then I had a little mini quarter inch ruler that I was able to place in there. I placed a Kimberbell fat quarter, of course. A little pin that had some quilt blocks on it and a package of Kimberbell buttons. What do you think? And it fits perfectly in the cute little pocket. So here's what I would suggest. If you've never used software before to change words or um, used your machine uh, to change words, please visit your local quilt shop. And I am certain that that 
shop owner would be more than happy to say, let me, let me show you how this is done because it really is quite fun. So this one, like I said, I changed it to Mary Quilt Miss. All right. So you ready for another one? Okay. Oh, let's see. Chris says, love the idea. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Thank you, Chris. Um, let's see. I was missing. Oh, no, that one. Missing Crimson Velveteen from Cup of Cheer. Georgia, please contact your quilt shop about that, and they can certainly help you with that. Um, other people are saying it's a great idea. I love the pockets. I uh, love the change. Let's see. Susan says, I love the pockets and have them now. Love the change. Yeah. yeah. I know a lot of you have this already, so it's going to be really easy for you to just go ahead and get started on it. Oh, I should also mention, do you see the felt that I used? I used the sun-kissed peach for this one. Okay. All right. It's a really pretty pinky peach color. Um, really fun. Okay. So let's see what else to show you. There was, I'm going to save my favorite one for last, of course, right? The next one I'm going to show you originally was, okay, here we go. This one was the man, the myth, the legend, right? And there we put some golf tees in the little tube and we put some beef jerky and some pistachios. And we thought, you know, for the men in our lives, that would make a great little gift, right? Well, I wanted to switch it up a little bit for Christmas. And I used the sea glass blue felt for this one. And here's what I did. Let me show you the picture first. Here we go. There it is. Merry, Merry Christmas to the man, the myth, the legend. And there I have some gift cards in there, some little almonds tied around, and the beef jerky. So as you can see, on this one, I didn't eliminate anything. Let's move this bow out. This one, I did not eliminate any words. I kept it exactly the same, the man, the myth the legend, but I added Merry Christmas to the man, the myth, the legend. You could put a name right there. It would be perfect for it. And then I was thinking about the man that I'm going to give this to and thinking about what maybe his favorite places to shop or eat were Buffalo Wild Wings, <laughs> a little bit of Cabela's. And then um, instead of a tube, I just wrapped, you know, I did the ribbon on the embroidery machine and then put a couple of beef sticks there and some almonds because he loves those snacks. So that will be a fun little gift to give, right? I think they would, they would actually work really well in a stocking as well. All right. And finally, this is the one that I think would make the most fun neighbor gift for sure. Um, or coworker gift or whatever. Let me show you the original. Um, let's see. Okay, the original one said this. Just popping by to say no one's butter than you. <laughs> okay. We put some M&Ms in there. We put some microwave popcorn in the pocket. This is how I changed it for Christmas. I used the graham cracker felt for this one. And then... Oh, let me show you the picture. Changed it up a bit. Let's see. Hold on. Oh, here we go. Just popping by to say happy holidays. There you go. And so it just kind of takes on a whole nother look for the holidays, right? say just popping by to say Merry Christmas, just popping by to say Happy Holidays, just popping by to say you're awesome, whatever it may be, right? So here's what it looks like with the graham cracker felt. Isn't that a fun look? I did the stitching around the outside edge there on in red, so it just popped off that graham cracker felt. And then I used, you know, Christmas colors. 
um, part of the instructions for doing this design on that CD is that you, you, you could use, if you want to give a little sparkle and shine to it, some Kimberbell Mylar underneath the stitching of that popcorn so it looks real buttery. <laughs> and then added a little bag of candies to it. What do you think? I think it'd be fun. So there is an easy way to use the, the felt, the new colors of felt, maybe with a pro, the, with a CD that you already have, maybe with one that you're thinking, I don't have that yet, but I certainly would love to get it. And you need, you will, you want to find a quilt shop that is carrying it. Um, really kind of fun stuff. All right. Yeah. Betty Jo says blue and silver for Hanukkah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, for sure. Um, Bonnie says felt doesn't ravel, does it? No, nope, it doesn't. That's why it just, it, it works so great for a project like this because it, you know, you've got a raw cut edge there and yet it doesn't unravel. It's awesome. Okay. Um, yes. Let's see. Lynn says, add a DVD to the popcorn one. Yeah, that would be super cute. Um, you could even pull, like bring in like the little popcorn buckets that you can get at the dollar store. Maybe give them, you know, a set of those. That would be kind of fun. Um, yeah, you, you know, there's a, there's people that, um, still have red boxes around in their town. You could put like maybe a red box gift card in there. That could be fun. Um, yeah. So yeah, there you go. Katie says, so cute. Great idea for hostess gifts. Yeah. That would be fun. One in it. All right. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Anita says, love the way that we can change up our Kimberbell designs. Yeah, that's, that's actually, Anita, why I love the Kimber Bellas and Fellas page so much is because we can share and inspire each other with all kinds of fun ideas, right? All right. Um, let's see. The other thing that I'm just going to tease you about um, is going to be shared next week, but that is another way I'm using the Kim brand new Kimberbell felt colors. So find a shop that has these. They, they got, they started sending out last week and they're sending out more this week. Um, and find the new felt colors because I have a really fun idea for how to use the new felt cozy found at Kimberbell. Let me show you just a little sneak peek of what I'm talking about. This one is available today. I, I saw it on the website as a digital download, or it's also in the vault. Um, let me pull that picture up to tease you. And next Wednesday, I'm going to go into a whole lot more details of what I did with it because they are so simple, quick, easy, inexpensive, you name it. And there's a lot of different ways to use them. You might be thinking, felt cozies? Like, what would I do with that? Oh, my friends, there are so many things you can do um, with them, and I cannot wait to share with you uh, what those are. So let's see. I'm not seeing it here in my pictures, but I'll show you. Oh, here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Ah, felt cozies. And see here, you're only seeing them as a little sucker cover. And wow, that is so cute as a little sucker cover. Oh, you just wait till I show you some really fun ideas to do with felt cozies beyond the sucker cover. All right. That's coming up next Wednesday um, um, that I'll show you that. So in the meantime, grab your felt, download your felt cozies. This was something that we did probably back in 2013, something like that. And um so it's in, it's part of the vault. It's back. It's part of the vault and it's only $5 for four designs. So there you go. Check it out. We are going to show you on a sucker cover, but let me, I'll give you one other little sneak peek here. What about creating a hot cocoa bar with them? Mm -hmm. Oh, there's so many ideas I have. I cannot wait to share them with you. Okay, just maybe just one more, okay? What about these fun little straws that are also part of your hot cocoa bar? 
maybe it's not a hot cocoa bar at all. Maybe it's all kinds of other things that we'll be talking about next Wednesday. All right. Okay. So there you have it, my friends. Um, all the information about all the new stuff coming out. I'm going to look again real quick to see if this has come up yet. And it's not, but I will let you know when it does for sure uh, on the Reese and the monogram alphabet. All right. Um, in the meantime, should we do a giveaway? Yes, yes, yes. Let's do a giveaway. I'm thinking that in celebration of the monograms and the Reese going to be available today, I'm certain of, <laughs> and all the different things that you can do with them, I want you to have a plethora of Kimberbell blanks that you can stitch those onto, all right? So two people are going to win a bundle worth over $100 worth of Kimberbell blanks. What am I talking about? What am I talking about? I'm talking about things like tote bags and tea towels and pillow blanks and aprons and you name it. We're going to put together a whole bundle of this stuff and two people are going to win a whole slew of it, a whole plethora, <laughs> everything your heart can imagine in Kimberbell blanks worth over a hundred dollars because there's so many things you can do with them. Now, the other thing I want to mention, I'm going to open this up here for just a moment because if you've never seen one of our Kimberbell blanks, what makes them special or unique is this. For example, this is just one. This is a canvas tote bag. And think about like the last time you've ever wanted to embroider or sew for that matter onto something that's already done, like a bag, like a tote bag, right? Um, what do you have to do? Well, if you don't have like a 10 needle machine um, that you can, you know, slide that onto a, to a, like a free arm and be able to stitch an embroider on it, then what do you have to do? You have to open the side seam, right? You have to take out your seam ripper and you have to cut, 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 and then open up the blank so it lays flat. And then you can stitch them up, stitch on it. Well, instead, Kimberbell has already done the work for you. These blanks, and this is just one of many tote designs that are available, and we'll, we'll send them to you too. But these are open already. The side seams are already surged, right? So you don't, you don't, no seam ripper here. These all have this, the side seams open and surged so that you literally have to just hoop this blank. You know what? If you don't even want to hoop it, you can float it even easier. But, you know, up to you, personal preference. But I'm telling you, it couldn't get any easier. These things just lay nice and flat. You can embroider your project. In this case, you may want to embroider the wreath on it, right? With a monogram. And then you just put right sides together, zip, zip, sew it right up just with, you know, quarter inch seam allowance, half inch seam allowance. And there you go. You have a completed tote. So you can find these Kimberbell blanks at your favorite cool shop, whether that's walking in their doors or online, they've got them. And we've got them in like a, like a buffalo check. We've got denim ones. We've got, you know, a canvas uh, one here, cream canvas one. Lots of good stuff. So that is one of the things that makes the Kimberbell blanks so much fun. We also have pillow cover blanks, which again, well, let's just go ahead and open it, shall we? We've got more of those. Those also come with the side seams already opened. Again, you want to stitch on a pillow, but you don't want to have to get out the seam ripper and, and unpick it. So instead, it's already surged for you on the sides. It's already quilted for you. It already has the zipper in it, okay? 
it, it's a hidden zipper. It's awesome. It's an invisible zipper. And so all you have to do again is you lay this down flat. You either hoop it or you float it, okay, on the hoop. You stitch out your design. Again, in this case, it might just be the wreath and the monograms or whatever your heart desires. And then you put right sides together, zip, zip. Yes, that's how, that's exactly the sound of my sewing machine, my friends. <laughs> zip, zip. You sew it, <laughs> the side seams, they're already searched. You sew them up, you're done. All right, so two people are gonna win a bundle worth $100 of Kimberbell Blinks. How do you enter? Well, let's see. Why don't you just tell me something that you're excited about from today's show? How's that? Easy enough, right? Just something that spoke to you, something that got you like, ooh, I think I wanna try that. Anything like that, put it in the comments here at Facebook or YouTube or Instagram or wherever this is, right? In the comments section of this video, wherever that is, okay? That's the best, that's the place where we will gather those all up and draw two winners. You have between now and tomorrow night to do that at midnight and then Friday morning, as always, we will announce the winners on Facebook, all right? Now, just just fair fair warning Kimberbell will always contact you <laughs> and 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 let you know that you won and we will make a post and we will never ask for a credit card so <laughs> just, I'm just telling you that because sometimes there's some fun people out there that'll be like oh you won and me what's your credit card number no don't fall for that mm -mm. nope this that's just kind of stinky people that do stuff like that. That's not how we announce winners. So never fall for something like that. Okay, my friends, please tell me you won't. Um, we will be sure to contact you, let you know you won, and get the prizes sent your way out the door. It's just, you know, we'll, we'll something fun to brighten your day. All right? All right. I think that's it. Thank you, everyone, for joining me today. It's been a fun one. And again, all you have to do is post something that you learned, something that you're excited to do, something you're excited to see, whatever. And um, there you'll have it. Okay. And then we will post when those wreaths are available. Maybe I'm just, maybe I'm blind. I don't know. <laughs> Somehow I'm not seeing them, but I know they are there and they're going to be available for you. Those wreaths and monograms. All right. All right, everyone. Thanks for joining me today. I will see you next week for What's New Wednesday. Until then, have a great day. Keep on embroidering. Keep doing all the things that make you happy. And I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.